Alright, so this week we are talking about um, what's frustrating about being transgender and how we cope with it. And the first thing that came to my mind was um, with me being 99% stealth <coughs> at college, um, it gets frustrating that I can't talk to anybody about, like, can't openly talk about my past or things that I'm currently struggling with, and that people expect me to be able to relate to things that cis guys, um, you know, like, every guy goes through growing up, and I did not go through a lot of those things. Um, <coughs> Like, I still haven't gone through a male puberty, um, so I don't know what it's like to have my voice crack in public and, um, have, I mean, I had pretty bad acne in middle school and in high school, but, um, not nearly as bad as I expect it to be when I'm on T and, um, uh, just, you know, things like that and, like, all of a sudden being starving for like six months straight, um, just all those kind of things that got, like, come up in conversations or like things about like being kicked in the balls, like I've never been able to experience that <coughs> and it'll be a long time before I'll be able to experience that. Not that I necessarily want to, but I feel like it's inevitable that every guy has been kicked in the balls or like a ball thrown or something, you know, and so it's like just things like that that I can't relate to and it gets really frustrating. Um, and then not being able to talk openly about my past, like I'm pretty good at editing, like when I'm on the phone at work, um, talking to high schoolers, we have a event coming up for the high school seniors to come up here and visit, and I couldn't do that when I was a senior because I had a softball tournament, but I have to say that I had a baseball tournament, um, and just, you know, I have to tell people I played basketball and that... <coughs> Er, that I played baseball instead of softball and that um, when I talk about playing basketball when I was younger people are like, you're so short though and well, I mean really I was average size in my freshman and sophomore years um, of women's basketball I was average size on the court but, you know a 5 foot 4 guy on the court I have to tell people, I mean, I used to be a lot thinner than I am now, so I just tell people I used to be really skinny and fast and things like that, but, um, there's a lot of experiences that I just can't talk about, um, like, that I went to prom as a freshman with a guy and I wore a dress, um, just all those kind of things, um, for most of my friends, if I were to say things like that, it would be a very awkward situation and they wouldn't appreciate it, um, as well as if I was talking to other trans friends or just my friends back home that, um, I still talk to and things like that, um, so yeah, I mean, that's one of the things that people don't really talk about when transitioning. It's how deep that social transition can go mentally. Um, it can be a real strain. Um, and it's definitely another thing that we go through that cisgender people do not go through. Um, and it kind of sucks, but part of the deal, I guess. Um, and then, 
how I cope with it. I mean, there isn't really a way for me to cope with not having gone through most of the things that cis guys go through growing up, um, because my childhood is long gone, but I got to go through a lot of things that cis guys don't get to go through. I mean, it was very acceptable for me to be interested in traditionally feminine things, and I think it really made me a better person in the end, um, and I'm definitely more open-minded about things, and I try not to push people into boxes because of that. Um, and then, with not being able to talk openly all the time, um, I just, I mean, I have my girlfriend to talk to about things. I do have a few friends at school that I can talk openly with if we're in a, like, closed area like someone's dorm room or a car or something like that. Um, and then I talk to um, people, other trans guys a lot. Um, I talk to Riley quite a bit in like we like talk a lot and then we don't talk a lot. Um, some of the other guys on the collab I try to talk to, um, and some of the guys that work with me in Self Made Men, um, I have really similar experiences with one of the guys and so we go back and forth all the time and it's really nice to be able to have someone who understands exactly what I'm going through almost a hundred percent. So, um, yeah, if anybody struggles with these things like I do, um, especially the not being able to talk to people, I'm always open. Just send us a message. I think it goes through Gmail or Google Plus now, um, which we are trying to be more active on our Google Plus. So feel free to add us into your circle. Um, but other than that, um, yeah, hopefully I will be making, I should be making a video next week on time. Sorry, I'm picking. Um, so, yeah, I will see everybody in a week, hopefully. Bye.